So I just got in these new step um, and uh, we call them rock sliders <clears throat> from Amazon. They are made by, try to find the manufacturer here, Tiger. Uh, these are for the two door JK. Had these on my previous JK and they held up pretty good. So they're only about 220 bucks and they are really solid. Um, unlike some of the other ones, I read some reviews and some of the other ones don't actually come with them. the locking mats that you need to mount them if you don't have running boards already. So these are pretty well made and come with all the hardware. And anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put these on and that's the other one. So here's the rough fit on a Jeep JK. Um, I just have some of the hardware in to hold it in and not fall on my head. Uh, for the top mounts, you have these six millimeter bolts, which have an eight millimeter hex on them or socket. And uh, you take the smaller washer, I think it's an 18 millimeter washer, and you're gonna run that bolt through like this one. And then on the back side, you've got this 22 millimeter washer and a nylon lock nut. see got that guy rough fit there and then for these um, other brackets up here so this is probably more the load carrying bracket but you've got these um, these are eight millimeter bolts 10 millimeter socket for these and the larger washer and those run into the threaded uh, and I guess these are body I don't know what you call it. It's kind of like an outer body channel. And uh, these guys just thread right into the, the factory threads in here. I think this is where if you had a factory running boards or something like that, or one of the trim panels, they'd be mounted in here. So you've got uh, these two guys on the underside, and then you'll have four in total of these smaller six millimeter guys. So we'll get those uh, installed and tightened up. Um, I think the ones, the underside, the larger um, eight millimeter bolts will pretty much center this up, but we'll want to make sure that we're looking pretty even on the ends, clear the body mounts. And uh, yeah, that'll pretty much wrap it up. We'll get them tightened up. We have it all bolted in now. Let's see, got all the uh, top bolts in, all four of them, and got the larger underside bolts in there so what I'd recommend you do um, when you put this in is uh, obviously you're gonna need the top ones in to hang it one on each side and then might as well run them all in and then put your lower bolts in and what I did is ran the lower bolts um, all the way up so they're just so there's just enough play so just barely engaging the lock washer just a little bit of play on each side and then tighten these guys pretty much all the way up and then i ran the bottom up a little bit more but still engaged the lock washer but left it just a little bit loose left this side a little bit loose and then finalized the tightening tightening here and here um, just to avoid as much bending you know i wanted to run it up evenly and I want to avoid any bending that if this is at a slight angle or if this bracket, which is slotted on the bottom, was drawn in uh, towards the center of the vehicle, that would bend this panel backwards. So I wanted to avoid any of that. Um, and so, yeah, this thing's, this thing's stout. This is in there. You can see it gives you pretty good frame protection as well. Um, you get a good view under it. So a little bit hard to get an idea of where it lines up but you can see it, it it'll protect your frame rails right here definitely protects your frame rails um, it's a little bit higher close to level with the fuel tank skid but it'll protect your frame rails just about everything up to the fuel tank skid um, your uh, your links pockets for the links are are not protected in here but um, I, I, I guess you get hung up there, but you're coming pretty close to tire. Anyway, um, yeah, it offers you a step and pretty good rock sliding protection. So there it is. Um, 
a little further away. Having some challenges with the light here, but it's still nighttime. Or it is nighttime, but uh, you get a pretty good idea of what we got. Um, definitely like these rails. I think they're uh, pretty perfect for price wise, 220. Uh, pretty durable. And uh, I don't know, I guess the only thing I could detract from it is if you don't like the styling of the stars, and that may be a problem, but um, I don't, I don't, it doesn't bother me. Anyway, um, yeah, 220 bucks on Amazon or other websites, and it's all six whole bolts to put it in. Pretty easy job.